Hello everybody! Welcome back once again to my Let's Play of Sword of the Necromancer. This is Emma Void, and you know, I realized something. I realized I'm not really too concerned about, you know, the difficulty level, about like playing it in the di any of the stuff that's supposed to make the game harder. You all know what I'm here for. I'm here for the gay. I just, I, I want all the gay. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make all of these set to easier. Uh, start from scratch? No. Use levels on death? No. Use items on death? Eh, I guess maybe I'll leave that one. Makes it at least like a little more difficult. Okay then. Now, let's get to it. Naha! Here we go. Let's see. Let's go this way first. Oh, what are you two? some stuff around. Ooh, a bomb. Can I see it? Uh, exploding bomb consumable. Hmm. Interesting. That's new too. Uh, magic plus three for five seconds. That's not super great, but. Ah. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, doesn't seem to affect. Dollar hands. Ow. <laughs> okay. That definitely does hurt me and not them. I should be a little more careful. Oh goodness. Hi there. Shiny. Oh, I want the shiny. Still a dollar hand. What's your deal? Oh, Thunder Element dollar hand. Nice. Oops, wrong button. 
wind doll hand. Cool. Oh, sharp recurve, plus 10 critical. Here we go. Ooh, I like it. All right. Oh no! One fell just as we leveled up. Oh well. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> uh. Alright. Now then, let's cross the threshold. So we're gonna have, once again, some kind of boss here. So we can get a peek. Oh wait! Oh right! I fought you and even though I beat you, that doesn't mean I passed you. That's kind of a pain in the butt, but whatever. Alright. ranked up again. Just look at that. <laughs> oh, holy jeez. Okay, right. When I close and open the uh, freaking thing, it uh, despawns my allies. That's cool. Another rank up. Come on. Beat it. <laughs> Oof. There we go. That could have gone worse. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start over from scratch. Oh, you know, aside from these couple of things. <laughs> ah. It was already pitch black. I suddenly woke up and saw you were no longer by my side. I jumped up and desperately started looking for you everywhere. Oh. Coco? Coco? Where are you? No response. While I was walking around our camp, thousands of thoughts started running through my head. Was it a wild beast again? Someone trying to kidnap you? How could it be I hadn't even noticed? What a lame excuse for a bodyguard. Did she wander off? Coco! Shit. Maybe shouting is worse. If anyone has her, they'll know I'm getting close. I then decided to search for you in silence, just in case. Luckily, that night was a full moon and skies were clear, so the woods weren't completely dark. Once my eyes grew accustomed to the dark, I could see perfectly. Where the hell are you? I heard a sound all of a sudden. I bet it was you. Oops, accidentally skipped past that. Don't know why, but I was sure. Between relieved and nervous, I approached. Oh, there you are! Scare me like that again and I'll kick your butt! 
<laughs> oh wow. Among all the possibilities that crossed my mind at that second, finding you like that wasn't one, I'm certain. When when this game was suggested to me, it was suggested as, oh, you'll be surprised by how gay this game is over and over again. And now I'm realizing that yeah. Yeah, they were probably right. <laughs> the moonlight illuminated the lake. And on its shore, you, naked, taking a bath. Um, Coco? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> what do you think? I was looking for you, you idiot. I woke up and saw you weren't there. All right, you found me. Now please go back to sleep. <sighs> <laughs> I found myself incapable of looking away from you, not understanding why. It's because you're gay. Maybe because this was like those old tales in which a knight finds a nymph or something in this very same situation, and he ends up mesmerized by her beauty. I know I asked you to keep an eye on me, but not like this! Not that I'm naked! <laughs> uh, how was I supposed to know you felt like going for a midnight swim? Please stop ogling me already! <laughs> I, I'm not ogling you, idiot! We're both women! You don't have anything I haven't seen before! I, I'm going back to camp! And I wasn't looking! <laughs> I ran back to our camp and sat by the fire until you came and went to sleep without a word. Yay! <laughs> I guess you didn't even want to look me in the eye after the shame I put you through. But I was surprised by how quickly you were able to catch some sleep. And I was still unable to stop looking at you. <laughs> look at her, sleeping like a log. And to think she was such a mess just a moment ago. Maybe I should take a relaxing bath as well. Seems to have worked for her. Curled up next to the bonfire, you were sleeping soundly, as if nothing had happened. Or maybe it was that nothing had happened. It was just an embarrassing situation. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. However, I was still restless. Unable to remove that beautiful image from my head. Why did seeing you naked cause that effect on me? Why was I still so nervous? It's cause you're gay. Can't sleep a wink. What's wrong with me? The uh, useless lesbians are strong in this game. You moved a little in your dreams, and your blanket shifted away. I was, again, looking at your body from top to bottom. Then I noticed something that you were hiding under your clothes. I couldn't believe that. What the... What's this? My eyes didn't trick me. It was the relic. You had it on you. Who would have thought? Carrying something so valuable would only make you a target for bandits. Hmm. Shiny. Is that what you wanted to pay me with? Weren't you supposed to give me something even better? <laughs> so I never lie, huh? Bullshit. I reached out. I had the relic at my fingertips. I could take it and go. Leave you to your fate. Oops. All my problems would disappear and I could pay off my debt and live in peace. Oh, come on. You're too gay to manage that. All I'd have to do is pick up that damn relic and get the hell out. So simple. You wouldn't even know until you woke up. And I'd be far, far away. That'd serve you right for trusting someone like me to babysit you. It'd all be over in a moment. This ridiculous journey. <laughs> ah, I'm too tired to start running now. I should try to get some rest. <laughs> Better cover you up too while we're at it. Excuses. Good night, Coco. Maybe sometimes life can be like those night tales. No. 
Jeez, that's gay as heck. Also, hey! Things look different now. Interesting. Oh dear. Well, no! Excuse you! Oof. Skeleton. Or skeleton. Status prevention, fire elements, fire resistance. Interesting. Ooh, Cautious Claymore. Uh, slow Charge, Minus One Heart, Wind Element. Eh. I mean, I can stick it in my bag at least. Oh. <laughs> Good job, little friend. Plus one heart blind prevention. Hmm. Zero attack, but it was doing some kind of attack a moment ago. Ah, ailment cure. That'll be handy, I'm sure. I think I'll actually drop the, uh, losing items. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Bluntness. Negative 100% critical, but plus 50% damage. Interesting. Hmm. Is there something more? Ah! Here you are. Oh, jeez. That is way too many of you. Plus one heart. It's always good. Yeah, I gotta say, I really like the doll hands. <laughs> they are extremely useful, especially given how good they are, you know, taking attacks instead of me. What the frick? How am I supposed to get past this? Ugh. 
Alright, I don't know what the deal with that was. At least I got a little bit of heals. Oh, hello. Alright. Whatever the problem is, throw more doll hands at it. That's what I always say. Oh. Hello. Interesting. So I'm thinking I might need light damage against that boss. That means my lightsaber. <laughs> lightsaber. And some light monsters. I'll try to pick up more while I'm in there. First though, I think I found a new diary. At least one. Here it is. Lopping's journal. I had no one. It suited me. From my first day as a mercenary, I embraced solitude, taking great pride in relieving common folk and royalty alike of their perils, for a price. I was sent out in a group of five by a client craving a legendary sword, a ludicrous myth in my eyes, but the compensation was far too great to surrender. The folly. Before long, we owed each other our lives many times over. We became friends. Family. Now that family is no more, one by one fallen, I must find the sword. Not for coin, not for glory, not for power. I simply desire my family back. I have no one. It terrifies me. Oof. I mean, yeah, I get that. You got any new info about any of these? Giant shield, etc., etc. Yep, I think I've got that one. Hmm. Disguise itself as an innocent plant, but it is pure evil. Amazing. I mean, that's not super helpful, considering I'm being cheaty and using the easy mode options, but, meh. I'll grab it just in case. Holy jeez, what is that thing?
Oof. <laughs> uh, okay, one moment. Can I? Hoboa. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we got some light element dollar hands. Oh, one deal slow though. Popola fire elements. Dang. Holy jeez. These Pobolas are powerful. Ah, dang it. Grimoire G of Fire. I, I I like I like magic. Magic good. That's a lot. That's really good. All right, let's try this again. Although, unfortunately, my minions are kind of weak this time around, but oh well. <laughs> That didn't last long. God dang it. I really don't like that guy. I think I would like that. Oof, okay, let's try this again. Huh, I got an achievement for some reason. I don't know why. For one thing though, I'm gonna drop this bomb on this jerk first. <laughs> Okay. 
Well, we're doing better this time. Uh, maybe I should use my heart potion, though. better this time around. <laughs> uh. I can't believe it! You're 21 and you've never tried ale? Really? Well, I just turned 21 today. And it is not something that is served at the temple. Moreover, it is not something essential for living. <laughs> Well, that ends today! We're going to celebrate your birthday! What? Fortunately, we were in Undira, the most prosperous city in the kingdom, and the only one in which I knew of a tavern where I could take you without anyone bothering us. People there knew me, and no bastard would have the guts to approach me, let alone someone with me, for their own sake anyway. Hmm. I did not expect Ale to look this bad up close. <laughs> it really does not look like something that should be consumed. Not with that color. Mood, honestly. I don't know how it is for little princesses like you, but commoners like me drink this instead of water. At least, this doesn't give you diarrhea. My parents made me drink it when I was a child. I see. So you drink this because your water is ridden with disease. In that case, I too shall drink. Bottoms up, and you drank the whole jug in one go. Oh, dang. Hey, take it easy, princess. That stuff has a kick to it, you know. Ugh. You all right? Hm. This is not the first time I have drunk an alcoholic beverage, mind you. <laughs> well, I didn't see that coming. What, did you get tipsy in the temple to cope with your boring-ass life? What are you blathering about? We use ceremonial wine for many rituals. We do not get inebriated like sad drunkards. It is reserved for special occasions. I am still quite susceptible to it. <laughs> well, in the real world, that's what most people do. Drinking to kill time or drinking to forget, you know? Drown our sorrows and all that. So, what do you think of ale? It is much more bitter than I expected. Nothing like the sweetness of the wine we use in our ceremonies. I could discern a hint of ground ivy, berries, and ginger. Those are probably used as preservatives, and that is why this settles in your stomach better than water. <laughs> Aw, look at the little princess. You're a beer buff already. She's smart. Of course! I know a lot about plants, both medicinal herbs and regular ones, their effects and their taste. And enough with calling me princess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is nice, isn't it? Being together like this, just the two of us. Okay. This is what I used to do after a hard day's work. So stealing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying they'd make you drink this when you were a child? No wonder you turned out the way you did. <laughs> <laughs> that ale must have gone straight to your head. What my parents gave me was small beer. That has almost no alcohol. They weren't that thoughtless, you know? But with the bandits, it was a different story. I see. You looked away for a second. No doubt that at that moment, you felt pity for me. And until then, I felt the same. But I wouldn't be who I am now without all those things I've lived through. And I'd have never met you. Aww. 
Shall we order another round? <laughs> you bet! Until they kick us out! <laughs> I lost track of time. And without knowing how, I was carrying you through the empty streets on the way to the inn. Which fortunately was a stone's throw away, because you were a dead weight. You weren't lying when you said you were not accustomed to drinking. You weren't even able to stand by yourself. So, how was it? Did you enjoy yourself, birthday girl? Truth be told, it wasn't such a big deal. <laughs> well, you have to get used to its bitterness, but that's kind of the point. You'll get into it eventually. But of course, it will never be as fancy as the ceremonial wine of yours. I mean, I like the company better. That was fun. Aww. You had serious problems keeping yourself awake. But you looked as if you were making a huge effort to keep your dignity. I... I love you, Toma. I felt as if my heart skipped a beat. I hadn't heard those words in years. And I'd wanted to hear them for so long. But not in this way. Yeah. Doesn't quite Shut mean the same. Yet. You're drunk. Alright. Well then. Uh real quick, I'm gonna go get myself killed. BRB. There we go. Alright. So that should be enough for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time, and we'll continue on, and uh, probably do a bunch of uh, more enchanting as soon as I can. Like, uh, I really wish that when I get rid of these guys, when I get... I want... Okay, maybe it does, actually. I should test it. Uh, who's the worst... Here we go. Hey, I do get some essences from them. Awesome. That's good. Not as much essences as I get from the weapons and items, it seems like. That's okay. Still, very awesome. Anywho, I was saying. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time, etc., etc., and I'll see you all later. Bye, everybody!